guys, Davison here. I just watched PewDiePie's video about forced positivity on YouTube and despite being very tired and not wearing any makeup and it being Friday night, I wanted to make a response. And as you know, I've made a bunch of different responses to PewDiePie this year and I actually didn't even watch him before this year. So the PewDiePie I know now is the PewDiePie that has existed this year, not in previous years. So what his video basically was about was that he feels that he used to fake being happy on YouTube, but now he's chosen to be more real and honest about his actual feelings when he uh, creates his videos. And he basically um, called out generically other YouTubers for promoting what he thinks to be toxic forced positivity, being putting forth a front that like, hey guys, I had a super day today. Oh my God, it was so lit. We went to the water slides and I had the best slide of my entire life. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You know, that sort of thing, or the whole posting nonstop inspirational quotes like, you are the master of your own destiny, and if your mind is dark, then your reality will be dark. Stuff like that. And the issue, basically, from my perspective, is, is quite complicated. Now, okay, in life, my opinion is, and this is only my opinion, the more positive you are, the more self-empowered you are. Meaning, you will color the world and your opportunities with your thoughts and your emotional state. So if you're always looking at the dark side of things, if you're always thinking it can't be done, then life has a way of handing you what you believe because probably if you were feeling a certain way, you started acting a certain way. Negativity to a certain extent does bring more negativity. So I feel it's better to train yourself to stay in a positive, optimistic, proactive, productive mindset as opposed to giving into negativity, which is most of the time fear. Whenever you're thinking, oh no, this can't be done, or oh no, I don't look good, or oh, I'm gonna fail, or I'm so unhappy today, it's gonna suck today, it's because you're thinking about or worrying about the worst case scenario instead of reframing your thoughts and going, you know what, I can deal with most things that happen to me, I've, I've dealt with them so far, and instead I'm going to embrace this day and, and, and just tackle it. Getting back to the YouTube aspect of this positivity thing, uh, there's nothing wrong with spreading positivity. There's this guy I watch all the time, his name's Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V. Um, he's becoming bigger and bigger on Instagram and YouTube as of this year, precisely because he preaches that as an entrepreneur and a human being, you can get whatever you want as long as you put in the work and you you go at it hard every single day. And if he was more like, well, everyone has limitations, life's not always that simple, you know, some people aren't as privileged as others, it wouldn't be quite as motivational and inspiring to people. And, and I, in a way, I don't think as useful to people because I think it's far more advantageous, like I said before, to approach things with an abundance of positivity and good energy and good intent as opposed to this kind of like skeptical, negative approach. So um, part of being a performer or a YouTuber is putting your best face for it. I have noticed that when I am more put together, when I am more made up, when I've spent longer on editing, when I've spent, you know, a good time amount of time on image editing, um, I get more well received and more followers than if I just like slap stuff together and throw it out into the ether. And if I am in a bad mood and I just, you know, I'm not giving the camera or the audience something that, that they want to connect with and, and watch, then, it, it, you know, I'm creating junk. Y the show must go on is a quotation for a reason. You gotta put your personal baggage away when you turn on the camera, especially if you're creating comedy or you're creating, you know, motivational speeches or if you're creating entertaining gameplays. If 
you know, unless you are abundantly negative and intentionally negative, because there is kind of a space for that, just being neutral is just not energetically attractive, right? We are attracted more to watch people who are like full of life, full of motion, full of passion, right? Even if that passion is negative, as opposed to like, hey guys, it's Davison here. Today I went for a walk uh, down by the river. I was looking for a seal. I didn't find the seal. I found a snow dick. <laughs> Even then I'm like being funny, but um, I did find a snow dick today. You can look at it on my Instagram stories. Um, it just, it just isn't, it isn't a performance. It doesn't sell. There's no energy for you to connect with. There's no, you know, and happiness, positivity is contagious. So just why not be positive? And because the alternative is counterproductive. So PewDiePie, I get it. Being fake as fuck, so let's just, you know, address that right now, is off-putting. So there's like the the negative sort of um, manifestation or what's the word I'm looking for, you know, of, of positivity. The, the negative um, cultivation, I guess, of, of positivity, which is when you can clearly see that the person is upset or uncomfortable, but they still maintain this false front. You know, that, that smile that someone gives you that, you know, you just don't believe their eyes or the smarmy salesman kind of approach to things. Oh yes, you'll love this. It'll change your life. You know, uh, yeah, that, that is toxic because it usually means that it is a front to manipulate the other person. But I think people are good at detecting when that's a thing. So like I said at the beginning of this video, it is very complicated to discuss positivity on YouTube because part of a performer's job is to be positive and is to be watchable. But equally, yes, performers on YouTube should not be selling lies or saying things are great, especially if it is like a product review or something when it actually isn't or selling people lies about like, okay, my marriage is perfect. Meanwhile, homeboy is sending Snapchats of his dick. <laughs> I love those stories. And, and PewDiePie brought up adolescence. Yes, adolescence is a tumultuous time. I would even say, given how old I am now, that early adulthood is a tumultuous time. I don't really feel like I had a firm grasp on reality until I was like, 36 so um yeah uh so that said like you're gonna go through stages in life where you know you have disappointments you realize that people aren't always out for your best interest you know that life is hard that work is hard and not only is work hard but then you have to do it for 50 years um, and that even if you are successful, then you have to maintain that success with more work. So there's no like moment where everything is great and you get your million dollars. Now it's easy. You know, I think there's a bit of that feeding into his, into his rant too, is that he probably like everyone bought into the, 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 you know, somewhat of a mis misrepresentation that if you have a lot of money and if you have a lot of success, then that will ensure a positive emotional state. And that's just simply not the, the case because, there's a lot of responsibilities that come with that level of success and, and it's ongoing. It's not a destination. It, it is truly a lifelong process. Um, so I think maybe if PewDie's having a, a bit of a, like a, an identity crisis and he's also at the age in his 20s where he's like, oh, I'm not a kid anymore and I've been around the block many times and I'm seeing that, oh wow, it's, you know, I get bored, you know, you get bored of life, you get bored of making your bed, you get bored of doing the same gameplays over and over again. That's why he switched up his content this year, right? Um, so you become a little bit more world weary as you age. So I see why he feels a little bit more distanced from, you know, the joyous optimism of youth. But that said, and I'll leave you with this, you should always try to find your joy, try to find your positive energy. There's nothing wrong with looking at positive quotes. And if you are really sick, you know, you should meditate and, and think positively and visualize, you know, your cancer regressing, your body, body healing itself, um, because it, it will not have a negative outcome. As long as you're not like, you know, uh, forcing the, 
everyone to be perfect and you're this constant perfectionist and you're maintaining this false front and you there's this like tyr tyrannical way in which like you control others through wanting them just to always be on the same happy page as you you're good you're golden um and everyone's gonna have the different style on youtube you know some people are gonna just always do a happy perfect well-lit tap dance whereas other people are just going to be you know more real um and uh i like to think that like i am a balance between the two i there's a time and a place and i know like my main channel is not the place for me to upload this shit um but my vlogging channel is and um you know i made a choice and i think it's a positive one right because I believe that the more work that I do on YouTube, the further my career will advance. So it's it's not a forced thing. It's it's more like training your your life muscle to be strong. Positivity and 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 maintaining a positive mindset just gives you more strength and and more resilience and more opportunities. Lala Davison video.